ready way yeah you recording yeah yes i just started yeah. sorry please go ahead sorry do okay. speak a little bit louder huh yeah yeah so last week we talked we talked about what a forum is and a forum is a place to learn about leadership and build confidence for a teamwork so we exchange ideas and so we talked about what a good person is a good person is we don't lie we don't hurt anybody we try to do the right thing we keep a good reputation yeah, among others we keep a good reputation um yeah should you add, add on to that, to that? yeah yeah um so basically a good person enjoys a happy a satisfying fulfilling life they also make make sure um that people around them also live a good a uh, happy life and they prevent others from like they they make sure everyone lives happily so they they make sure that they don't prevent others from living happy uh lives and so they give they they treat others how they want to be treated, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty good, yes. Okay. Anything else? Um, so we also talked about why studying is important last weekend. Yeah. We asked each other what we wanted to do in the future. And to achieve that, we got to study, we got to work hard. We got to do our best <laughs> and stuff. So like, I want to be a CSI. I have to do my best. I have to work harder. I have to get into the college I want to get into to become a CSI in the future. Yeah. Yeah, she, you want to add on to that? Uh, excuse me, Didi, you both are not visible in the screen. It's not Is this right. Good? Yeah. Okay. This is Thank good. you. Okay, yes, you do you want to add on to that? Um yeah, so I think studying is important because to achieve your life goals and to achieve whatever you want to be, you have to work hard and you have to make sure you don't give up just because like obstacles get in the way and you have to keep pushing yourself to work through it and overcome your um like any obstacles coming your way because you have to push through to get to where you want to be in life to achieve success. Yeah, that's okay. true. Very good. Anybody else who wants to add? Okay, we also talked about uh, ego, remember? Mm. Did you talk about ego? No. No. Okay. Okay. Then that's okay. Okay. So now uh, we will talk more about uh, being a good person. Okay. So being a good person, uh, we have Dadaji has given nine divine code of conduct, right? And we talk about the first divine conduct. Now I send it on your. Did you have a chance to read the first? Divine Code of yeah, Conduct. Yeah. Can we, yeah. one of you, recite that, please? Um, okay. Please bless me that through my mind, speech, and body, I do not hurt any living being. Okay. Is, that's it. There should be a little bit more. No? Uh, no, that, that was it on the paper just a second um oh yes uh, you are can i yeah go ahead i have i have the ones i read and the ones uh I have says, um, dear Sada Bhagwan, give me infinite inner strength not to hurt, cause someone to hurt, nor encourage anyone to hurt the ego of any living being, even to the slightest extent. Give me the infinite inner strength not to hurt the ego of any living being, 
and to conduct my speech, thoughts, and actions in a manner that is accepted by all. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, this was a shortened version. I sent it to you. But yeah. That's, uh, that's yeah, should be good enough. Now, you know, what is ego mean? Anybody? Um, it's like, I feel like it's like, is it like what you think of yourself? Like what others see of yourself? What you express of yourself so that others see it? Is that what you do? Okay. Anybody else? Okay, let us see now. Dipakaranji, uh, what is ego? And so, Dipakaranji, can you give us some examples uh, that we can relate ego? Because we are saying we do not want to hurt ego of anybody. So, that, that explain what really it means. Okay. See, everyone believes and identify themselves by their name. Do you all do that? If I ask you, who are you? Then you would say and identify yourself by your name. Yes, no? What do you think? Right? And that is one self-identity is called ego. And when it is more mean or individualized, then you are expressing your ego. You understand? Like... Uh, no, uh, if you don't understand, please raise your hand and ask him the question because this is very always, important. We need to learn, understand it. ego. So I, I, I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> See, uh, when I ask you, who are you? Then you would say, I am Rajni Patel. Yeah. That is how you express your identity to me that I am Rajni Patel. Okay? Yeah, so that individualized examples, examples of one of the children. So they kid. Can but you asked me, you didn't understand. That's why I was telling but you. They, they, they were shy. That's why they were shy. So I'm, We are not shy. I am a small None kid now. Had, I'm a small kid now with them. <laughs> right. So let, let's say uh, if I ask Nidhi, uh, who are you? Please introduce yourself. What would you say? Definitely you would say, I am what? I am Nidhi. Right. So that is one's identity. And with that recognition, with that identity, you express yourself as you are. That is one's ego. Because everyone believes and identify themselves by their name. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, you can the interact. Okay, is, please talk. You can interact. The reason is, the reason, they will talk, they will talk. They will not let us talk then. I know, when they start talking. So it is like, uh, when I say, Nidhi, you're a great person. You're a very smart girl. How you feel so good. But when someone tells you, like maybe Tina would tell you, sister, you are very mean. <laughs> then immediately, you don't feel good. It is where, your ego gets hurt. Got it? And when someone praises you, you like that. You like that. Your ego gets boosted. So maybe if uh, Tina wants to get things done from you, then she will start praising you. You are a great sister and all these and that. And then slowly she will put her 
point and then it will be very difficult for you to refuse are honge tabhi se mila nahi rinam bete now you focus please okay no no talking in the class that's how we learned in the school that was hc taught me and hitesh uh, hitesh hitesh told me that's how you should be in the class okay so did you did you understand that this is how so, let me ask a question dipakanji so when if you get a grade what happens to your ego you feel great no, i'm not asking you 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 are not that's what i'm person. saying and i'm asking them don't you feel great no you're telling them i'm they let me tell them how they feel okay fine go ahead okay. everybody can talk okay there's no limit on that no everybody must talk yeah everybody must talk so don't uh, <laughs> Let's see. Don't keep your um, uh, on mute. Okay. So, uh, uh, Mox, if you get A grades, what happens? Um, I'm so happy. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. And your mm -hmm. and parents, you everybody will praise you, right? Good job. Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you get the by any chance a c grade or uh, you know c grade everybody knows a c grade he never gets that yeah. that's a problem yeah uh, if you don't get uh, good marks say out of 100 you get only 50 how would you feel yeah, yeah. Yes. and how would when you show to show your report card to the parents what happens uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah so you know that uh, your ego goes down at that time and then uh, your ego is a will say when you do that uh, now everybody understand what ego is mm -hmm. okay so now the first code is please do not oh hey dada bhagwan please let me not hurt anybody's ego now let us give examples Uh, you know you a lot of your brother sister 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 so you know where do we hit hurt egos even the parents okay then examples you think uh, where we hurt other uh, other people or especially the family members when you're not sharing when you want you hurt when you're not sharing and then you like end up hurting your sibling Okay. Let's see you're not happy. So your ego is down. Why? Because you hurt your sibling. They're sad that we're not sharing. I got everything. Okay. How about you Moksha and uh, and Yashvi? Yeah. You hurt each other's ego? Yeah. Okay. Give me an example. Uh, we know, we know all the ch what children do, so let's may not be bashful, you know. He'll come in my room and like I would think he's bothering me, so I tell him to leave. But then he thinks like he's just coming in to talk to me, so in his way he's right, but then in my way I'm right. <laughs> but it's like. Yeah, yeah. How about uh, uh, yet uh, Hitachi? when uh, my brother comes and he tells me to play with them but i'm too busy doing my stuff so i'm like no go go away come later so loudly please talk loudly yeah uh, when my brother comes to play with me and i refuse to play with him because i'm probably busy like i'm talking to my friend or doing my work so i tell him no come later how about anvi and uh, arvi anvi and uh, arav Unmuted. Yes. When does your ego, or when do you hit uh, hurt others' ego? Now, please speak again. When do you hurt others' ego? Give me an example. Oh, when I irritate someone, or I ask my sister to play with me. 
Okay. Good. Now we talked about our friends. Now what about hurting parents' ego? Oh, when I don't, when I don't listen to their instructions, then. Okay. Good. That uh, somebody else speak about. Now uh, Tina or Yunidi, you must be driving now, right? Or got a learner's yeah, permit? Yeah, I... Got a learner's permit? Um, it's my second year driving. Oh, okay. Then you are a veteran now. You are off with your parents' uh, <laughs> worries, I hope. <laughs> what about anybody else? <laughs> but you can share your example when you're learning. How much ego you hurt your parents and how much your parents hurt your ego were driving, right? How many instructions you got? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who else uh that's you to tell about your uh, how you uh, you and your father uh hurt each other's ego now you don't want to say that's to see you say oh when my mom asked me to wash the dishes or like put them in places and i say no because i don't want to do it <laughs> yeah 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 so you know now you know, so we understand ego, we understand hurting each other. Now, Deepakaranji, why it is very important that we should be careful and not hurt somebody's ego? I mean, you know, in our everyday life, it happens all the time, but what are the uh, precautions or what happens if you start doing that? Okay, see the the basic reason is everyone exists in this world by their ego only, by their body, by their body self belief as I am H3, I am Aro, I am Yashvi, I am Chelsea. Don't you live like that? And if anything comes to our name, Let's say somebody is talking about who should I catch now? Okay, let's say Mox. Someone is talking about Mox. And you're uh, really passing some negative comments. Immediately, Mox will feel bad. What do you feel bad? <coughs> hey, Mox. Yeah. If somebody is talking about Mox, Mm -hmm. and he's talking negative immediately you will catch it and you'll say why is he talking about me but after a while you come to know that he was talking about someone named Mox, but it, he was not referring to you then immediately you feel oh he's not talking about me he's talking about some other Mox. he's not talking about me did you understand did you mm -hmm. all understand this is how our connectivity is with our name, and that is our ego. And when we know how bad I feel, how hurt I feel, if somebody talks or behaves in such a way that I feel hurt, in the same way, others also feel the same. So when I feel like that, I should ensure in my, all in my dealings that I don't hurt them, others, through my thoughts, through my speech, and through my action. Now you must come out with a question, how does my thought reach the other person? I can think negative about any person. Uh, how, how is it going to affect the other person? Can it affect the other person? Let's see, you said yes. How? No. Explain, please. So it's like uh, yeah, if. Let's uh, see. Okay. Let's see. Is it kind of you were thinking like that they'll be very hurt? Did you get it? No. Let's see, please talk loudly. Loud and clear. When you want something from your dad or mom, you how loud and clear you make yourself clear. Don't you make it clear? <laughs> You're a good girl. <laughs> okay, please come again. 
If they find out they're going to get hurt. <clears throat> Please come again. If they find out they're going to be hurt. Yes. It's not like that. But what Dada has said, you know our mind? Our mind works like radar. You know what is radar is? R-A-D-A-R. -A -A if any foreign um, uh, plane is entering into our territory, then they have radar system. The military has radar system and they identify that a foreign plane is there in our territory. In the same way, our mind works like a radar. And if I think positive, although you are 3,000 miles away from India, and if I think negative about you, then you start feeling. What does that mean? Next time, if we interact, then there will be a kind of a barrier in our dealing. Do you all understand? Mm -hmm. This me, is the effect of negative thoughts. Yes? Let me, let me let us look at some science here behind this, okay? Now, how does TV work? Who's the science student here? How come you flip on a switch and you get TV? Because there's like cords that connect to the TV when you plug it in. Okay. I don't know. No, but yeah, you're right. But that's for to get the TV on, right? Arian, why are you hiding yourself? Bring it down. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, is it, I don't want to see those windows. Is the science? fan and the lights on the, on the ceiling. Is there a science student here? Okay. What happens? Okay, there is a transmitter somewhere. Okay, it transmits waves. Okay, the sound is converted into uh, electricity and it transmits waves. And like Dipakani was saying, there's a radar somewhere else, it catches those waves and transfers those waves into pictures and language. Okay, and that's why we get it. So there's a transmitter and a receiver. Everybody understand this simple science? And that is how, you know, all this transmission takes place. In the same way, Dipakarani is saying, mind is a transmitter. Both ways, it works both ways. Okay, transmitter and a receiver. So, when a thought you transmit, doesn't matter where you are, for a person, a person would receive it, but in a coded form, okay? And that coding takes, takes uncoding takes place at a certain time, not all the time. It's always unconsciously it's there. Just like, you know, uh, the waves are already there, but once you flip on the switch, of a TV or, or a, a, a WhatsApp or whatever, then the transmitter comes there. You understand everybody, the simple science? Okay, now you can explain the how that relates now, time wise. And, 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 and you know, the distance is no criteria for that. So yes, even if you are, you are staying in America, mind, some are in India, some are in Canada, and distance, there's no distance. Not only that, I'll just explain one more thing what Dada Bhagwan has given. You remember, we uh, offer Namaskar to Simandar Swami Bhagwan. When we say Namo Ariyantanam, then we keep in, one, in our mind Simandar Swami Bhagwan, and we offer our respect but namaskar to Simandar Swami, right? Yes, yes. Now, does everybody know that we do namaskar to Simandar Swami? Who, who knows we do some namaskar to Simandar Swami? Please explain that. 
Ah, uh, Itesi, you know that, right? The answer? Yeah. Hey, come on. Hey, you remember you, you this, is a, this is a forum and it is understanding, learning each other. You know, I know, I yeah. don't know too much. You guys don't know too much, so we love. Okay. Well, how, do you know we do Namaskar to Simon Swami? Yeah. Okay. Explain when we do that. Uh, okay. Do I have to say? Uh, uh, like I like uh, when we go to uh, some temple in in so like you know the big scene that is statue. So okay. if we go there, we have to do like forty times. Yeah. Okay. That's like, because that, that's a statue. Okay. But you know we do three mantra. Yeah. When we say Om Namo. Arihantaram. Mm. Who is Arihantaram? Uh, he is of the Mahavir Swami, like yeah. Mahavir Bhagavad. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Ar Arihantaram. So that is Swami. Okay. So when we do uh, next session, some session we'll learn about Simanda Swami. Who is it and why we do Namaskar? Okay. Why do uh, Om Namo? Okay, go ahead, Deepakand. Yeah, so you know, Simanda Swami Bhagwan, he's living like us, like how we are breathing, we are talking, we are there, but he's there on another land, another place, which is millions of miles away. And when we do Namaskar to Simanda Swami Bhagwan, it reaches him. So just imagine, just imagine, just by doing namaskar in the very witnessing presence of Dada Bhagwan, it reaches him and he's millions of miles away. So we understand, we want to understand the importance of our thoughts also, not just speaking and behavior. So the idea is through our thoughts, through our speech and through our actions, we should deal in such a way that no one's ego is hurt. Clear? So it's like, you know, some of you have decided to become a doctor. Someone was saying last time, who was that? Nidhi? Did you say that? No. I didn't or, or yes, we, yes, we had said, I remember. Right? Yeah. So see, like how her intention in a decision finally takes her there, makes her a doctor. In the same way, when we decide through the first diamond, the first prayer of those nine diamonds, we are reinforcing, making it perfect, our decision that I don't want to hurt anybody's ego. The reason is, I don't want anyone to hurt my ego. You know what people say, what goes around comes around. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. See, if you hit a ball on the wall, it, re it rebounds back. And by now, I believe you must have studied Newton's laws also. And the Newton third law says every action and reaction are equal and opposite. So if you want nobody should hurt your ego, then you better ensure that you're not hurting anybody's ego. Is that fair enough? That's what we decide, we make a firm decision not to hurt anybody's ego through your thought, speech, and action. That is the importance of the first time. Okay. Okay, so okay. now, you know, we are talking about uh, being happy, good person. If you do not hurt anybody's ego, uh, how would you classify yourself? Happy? Good person? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that is why the other Bhagavan has given this first divine code of conduct that if you don't hurt somebody's ego, you are happy person. You are a good person. 
And what's really important, what we learned today, that if you transmit bad thoughts, you speak, uh, yeah, somebody is hurt ego, then it's going to reflect, come back to you. So who wants a reflection coming back? Who wants bad things happening to you? Raise your hand, please. <laughs> Nobody. And who wants good things happening to you? Me too. You know? Obviously. Yeah, so this is very fundamental about ego, okay? So uh, we will almost end here now because this is enough for today. But ego, so what we want to practice at home, with the family, with friends, you know, and be conscious, mindful, where you're hurting others' ego. First thing, you know, you will always hurt your ego first. And then you'll hit others' ego, always, you know. If, if you get bad marks, you know, you'll feel bad. Your ego will feel bad. Right? And then when you show it to your parents, they will feel bad too. So it is very, it's very important to understand that. And so look around and uh, like uh, uh, Chelsea, give me an example where you hurt the ego yesterday. You gave me an example yesterday, so give me. Yeah, that, this, uh, share it with everybody. Yeah. Loudly. You, you can talk in Gujarati, the uh, Dipakaji will translate it. No, no, she's, she's studying in English. She's being better than me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she gave me a second. That's okay, she is shy. Next time you can talk about it. But, you know, that's very important to, uh, to hurt each other's ego. Be conscious about it. Be careful about it, okay? So now um, it's uh, almost time. So wrap it up. What do you think today's session was helpful and why? Anybody want to say that? Is this kind of discussion we want to have when we come next time? Is it helpful? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. how, how uh, can I, I just want to share my idea before we close. Uh, if it is possible, can we make a small uh, kind of a report of this uh, session by one of the kids itself? So every time we will change the person so it will help them understand better and it will remain in their memory and we will have a record of the discussion also. In, in, uh, Nidhi and uh, Ashwi, if you can jot down something and send it to me about last time. And this time- Just one page. And we even have one a page. Paper, yeah, just not yeah. so we can keep it with her. Uh, next time, who can do the today's session? I Don't can. I'm sorry? I can. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, okay. So the, this way, you know, we will do it. Now, any feedback today? Araf, you want to say, sir, did you like today what we talked about? Araf? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Say. Go ahead. I have no doubt. I didn't get. Come again. Repeat what he said. I have no doubt. He, has, he doesn't have any doubt. He understood everything that what he means. No, I know, but yes. did you like today's session? Yes. Okay. Why? Did you learn something new? Yes. I learned that I am not too. Hurt anyone's ego. Okay, good. Wait. Anybody else? Vidhi, Vidhi, Vidhi. Yes, I can understand about ego because our ego are always hurting us and others persons. 
That's good, good. How about, uh, okay, go ahead, Itesi. Yeah, I find it like, it's, a, it's pretty interesting because we are like, we are like different ages. So like we get ideas from like the elder and the younger one at the same time. So then, you know, from, like, the, the younger ones can learn from like us because like we are elder and we have like, you know, we have, we may have heard some these ego. So they can like, you know, keep in mind and make sure that they don't when like they grow up. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, this way, you know, we can learn from everybody. The, you know, that is a session. This is, that's a forum. Forum is learning everybody. Okay. Nobody is uh, uh, very good. Nobody is very bad. Everybody is equal. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, Dipakanji, can you do three months? Everybody can. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I, I, believe, I believe one of them every day I start, but they will close. So I'll let one of them do three months. Okay, Tina, can you do three months today? <laughs> yeah. Namo Ari Hantaram. Namo Ari Hantaram. Namo Siddharam. Namo Siddharam. Namo Ari Ariyaram. Namo Ariyaram. Namo Vazdayaram. Namo 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 Mangalam Hawaii Mangalam Om Nama Oh, Jay 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 Jay